Welcome to Crimson Guitars, welcome to the 2020 challenge. I'm going to be building a guitar that you designed in 20 hours and 20 minutes. Burn it. Ah, <laughs> yay! Three, two, one. 10 hours, 12 minutes, 19 seconds, 18 seconds, 17 seconds. We've got 10 hours, 12 minutes to go. Um, that is, I mean, this is progressing along quite nicely. Okay, welcome to the 2020 build, welcome to my insanity. Um, you guys voted for me to build this guitar and here's where we are. So these are going to be the sides of the, see? So that is now what I need to remove. How many do I need? One, two. It's doing things like this that make me worry about splinters. To the bandsaw, Jeeves. One, two. Okay, I'm just gonna chop this thing in half. Yes, this is my only really properly sharp plane. Okay. There's, there's nothing for it. There is nothing for it. Um, let's just crack on and we will see what happens. Okay, we don't want to take. So, yeah. Well, that's good, isn't it? That was, uh, the others were slightly worrying. 10 hours and 50 seconds left. So. The plan is okay. The plan is tidy up. Okay. Several things I have glue in my eyebrow. I think it's the important things in life. Um, okay, uh, that, but that that would that, that would definitely be pretty cool. So, now we're talking about multiple levels. Three, one. Done. Done. Okay. So that's what we've got to work with. Remember, there's going to be a top underneath. <coughs> Our pickups. Uh, it's a standard set of crimson, crimson pickups, and they're going to be angled and 
made so they go into standard. Cavity. Yeah, all right. Yep, it's all set. 40. 40. So essentially, top sitting on this, going to this. Do we need another piece of wood there? Not technically, no. Um, do we want one? Maybe, I don't know. What could be necessary is to keep an eye on the time. 9.49, 18. The top is gonna hit there, sit on there. And Fine, okay, I understand. I have it in my head now. This piece goes all the way in pretty much. Um, or does it? Do we want to actually stop? So round that edge over. Make it into a bull nose. The top. And then we've got a, a sound port at the end there. And we need to have somewhere for the wires to go. That would be that. And then we've got another piece. That's fine. I've got it, so let's go. Let's actually start building. Um, you go there, you go there. That's my copper to be saved for later. That going to there. We have that going here. That going there. We need to think this more. I mean, depth. Make short, narrower. Word mouth. Um, another piece there. And we're going to end with. So from the end, you've got these sort of ports. It's going to look like a spaceship, which is going to be amazing. The real question is. We just lower it. Okay, so I take this back. How you doing? Not too bad. Oh, seriously? Lovely. Oh, beautiful. I was wondering. Nice and matte. Lovely. Um, Sam? Uh, um, uh, I'm not sure how many thousands of people are watching it, but Sam is the your head of production and uh, the master pickup maker and um, overall good egg. Yeah, I mean, I, I did delegate the making music to Chris. That is what makes you a good egg. Yeah. No. <laughs> to give Chris credit, I won't take credit for his work, but uh, yeah. See? See what I said? Nice guy. It's interesting. It's just that we can't tell Chris what you're making because he's so confused and so interested. Because that you said something to him, and now he's wondering. Why he's so about about what did I say that had him four tops? It has now confused him to another level. I thought that probably would, yeah. So um, and it's not even actually technically right, really, because no, but it confuses him. So yeah. So it's because I mean that's one book match top that's two halves, and that's going to be another. So it's really three tops actually. 
but you can tell I'll him. I'll correct him on the three there. Say it's actually three tops, but now it's got spaceship ports. Yes. Yeah? Yeah, we'll keep it wondering. Because it's gonna be open what from the it's gonna be open from the end. What we might have to do is get him to draw what he thinks is gonna happen. Oh, that'd be amazing. The time of the explorer, draw what he thinks. Yeah, make it happen. I, that's a damn fun idea. Alright. <laughs> so glue glue, these are gonna be shorter. I now need to figure out how much shorter and uh, what I want to do because essentially that can be glued down, that could be shorter, and these and the, the next top could butt up against that. But that would look weird because no, it wouldn't, it would not at all. That would look fine. Okay, we, we're having a sort of full on design session in the, at this stage, and I apologize for that. These are custom wound downstairs, sound port, sound port. We might end up having that there. I'm having fun. Let's go a little bit more gently this time. What's that? Nice and gentle. There should be a tiny corner there and a tiny corner there where the second top hits. And I can cut that away and the second top will rest just on a five mil thing. Same thing there, that's a little bit bigger. So what I need to do really is actually Make absolutely certain that that is the case. So I won't need that there. I could potentially put one. Yeah, that sort of makes sense. Now the issue is the controls on the traditional one are there. And I think I'm gonna to have to put them here. One, two, and three, maybe. I'm considering drilling holes in these to turn them into um, strut type things. Um, not in the sides, but the internal ones. Um, remove a little bit more weight, etc. We're going to, before we glue anything down, cut away where, the, where those are. And very basically, we have a completely different way of constructing an electric guitar or an electroacoustic guitar. Um, it's, this is something I've been toying with for a while and thinking about, and I can't think of any reason why not to. In this day and age, we are, health and safety means that we have whisper quiet stages. We've all got in-ear monitors and tiny little five watt, we're gigging five watt amps for crying out loud. You don't need to worry about um, hollow bodies and potential feedback and unpotted um, uh, pickups, etc. So we can have a guitar like this and still play balls to the wall metal. I think. The problem is we're giving this one away and I don't want to now. Because I'm having too much fun. We are at 9 hours, 20 minutes and 50 seconds. Pause. I am having a blast. I'm pretty sure I can finish this in the time. I mean, I might have to find something else to do. Day three, day three, and our 11 hours. I can count. It's just rather difficult on only one cup of coffee in the day. Uh, I've had 11 cups so far um, in the build. 
<laughs> not, not today. Nine hours, 20 minutes and 50 seconds to go. And the timer is back going. 9, 20, 47. Okay, might as well just... Yeah, see, I thought, oh, let's do this this way. Lay them all down in the position in which they are supposed to be. And then we carry it without dropping things. I've been dropping things this build. I want to sort out the ends of each of these. This is a nice, quick and easy way of doing it. The original idea was to have a bull nose routed over, then that made it quicker by doing that sort of a shape. But I realized that even quicker still, and in keeping with the shape of the Explorer, is just to have a single angle, like so. And uh, we've got all of these interesting, interesting shapes and things. Um, mustn't forget to sand that a little bit before I do anything. But essentially, this is where I'm at. So, one. And so let's mark the top. And they're all directional. So do we even need, that's the real thing, do we even need to drill any holes in any of these struts? Uh, I do know that if I had unlimited time, I would do exactly that. I'd hollow it out as much as I could, actually. Um, that's a challenge. Let's see one day if I make, try and make the lightest electric guitar ever made. It could be fun. Nine hours, seven minutes left to go. The clock is actually gradually ticking down. I know that's what they do. It's starting to get a little bit worrying. It's a multi-stage glue up. Yeah, it, this is a multi-stage glue up. That's the problem. Because everything is so visible inside, I need to be able to get in there and clean up any excess glue from the bottom of this. It should dry relatively rapidly. But uh, we're talking half an hour to an hour, and then we can go back and do a little bit more. So many times. I'm gonna go downstairs, find some extra clamps, and uh, do that. We are then going to also make a coffee because that is very required. And then once that's done, clamp everything up. Nine hours, one minute, 45, 44, paused. Catch you on the flip side. Coffee numero 12. Um, we, I walked down to get some clamps and uh, walked past one of the guys playing a Nirvana song and said, who, who, who's that band? I'm really tired right now. Feel free to mock me in the comments. Resume. Uh, nine hours, one minute 41. 40. Let's go. So essentially, I've got a bunch of these uh, uh, Triton quick clamps. Um, they're perfect for this sort of job, actually. And I think I'm just going to crack on and do it. Let the progress progress. I, I really don't know what I'm talking about half the time. So 
So if you slide the joint like that, it helps. So I'm, I'm wondering really if this is any faster than doing what was the sort of voted on idea really, which is a semi hollow. So through neck with a with sides that I then go away and do a lot of routing on and all that. Probably not. It's certainly Something more interesting than that. Now I'm not saying this isn't delicate, because it is. This is a relatively simplistic way of constructing the body of a guitar that doesn't require much in the way of routers and uh, all of that. Okay, that's not quite right. Okay. And and purists are going to be hating on me in the comments below for doing something different because that's what purists do. But in the end, I've built hundreds of guitars, hundreds and hundreds personally, and uh, you know my company even more. And uh, the simplistic, boring, standard way of doing these things is no longer necessarily the only option. Um, I love playing, I love experimenting, I love doing different things and... Yes, this is my idea, but I think it's bloody cool. Mm. Okay, uh, well there we go. The glue, she is curing. It's been eight hours, no, we have eight hours, 40 minutes and 40 odd seconds to go. Um, and, uh, well, there we go, pause. Pause, 840, 40. Um, we're going to leave this. We'll have another coffee. It's definitely that time of day. That time of day. And uh, catch you in a bit. For the declamping. That sounds scary, actually. The great declamping of 2020. It has been about an hour and one cup of coffee. 8.40, 39, 38, we're rolling. Um, so the glue says that you should have it clamped up for a minimum of half an hour. Oh, we've done that. And uh, nice and solid. So tension is really 100% required. <clears throat> I think it's actually a, an integral ingredient to many things, like marriage and life in general. Without conflict, there can be no growth. Who am I quoting? That's something. Let me know in the comments below. Probably Sun Tzu or something like that. Ooh. So this is coming together. Okay, off you get, off you get, and et voila. Okay, um, scraper, scraper.
I've pushed myself a bit. I have built a guitar from scratch in six hours before. And that was, but that was something I designed. This one, you guys out there voted on this. And I'm really, really grateful you did because essentially I wouldn't have thought of doing this if I hadn't been given the parameters that I was given. And uh, you all know I love a challenge. I like digressing and moving off the task. Thank you. The big question remains. Where the holy hoo-ha am I gonna put the jacks on? It's gonna be cool. <sighs> Probably shouldn't blow dust again, but hey. Let's bounce off the excess little bits quickly. And see where we sit. I am not going to, or am I? I'm not, I don't know, I don't know anything. Do you know? If you do, you need to tell me. I really like making through naked instruments, I really do. The only slightly tricky part of it, really, is fitting the top over the end of the fret. And that is, it's not the easiest thing to do. <sighs> okay, we are at eight hours, 20 minutes and 20 seconds. Paused. Eight hours, 20 minutes to go in this build. Um, we are, it's, it's working, it's, I'm having a blast. We're gonna change the, the batteries in the, no, not the batteries. Every hour is a full 32 gigabyte card of footage um, <laughs> that we then need to compress down. So uh, we're gonna change the, uh, the card and get set up and, uh, and crack on. So see you on, in the next episode. Yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ta-ta for now. Mm, don't touch it. Time is off.